Hi, I'm Chris Helm. Welcome to Advanced Hair Trout Flies. And before we get into the tying, I'd like to spend just a few minutes to talk a little bit about hackle. Because I think there's a certain amount of misunderstanding with many tires about hackle and the terminology that goes with it. The birds that I have in front of me are whiting birds. This particular bird right here is a whiting Cree rooster. And this bird, the black bird, is a Hebert minor rooster. Uh, the original strain came from Andy Miner, who sold eggs to Ted Hebert a number of years ago. And Ted had that farm for a number of years and then sold out to Tom Whiting. This bird line is quite different from this, and, and obviously the size of the bird, number one, uh, and also the colors. The colors that are available, besides the standard colors of grizzly, brown, and white, that are available in the Hebert line are quite different than the colors that are available on the, the whiting line, which originally came from Henry Hoffman, and Henry ran that uh, farm for many years, and then he retired and sold to Tom Whiting. And of course, every year, Tom, uh, through his selective breeding, continues to improve the, the stock in both lines, as well as some of the other birds that they raise. I've, I've got a, a chart here that, uh, to talk about terminology that's very important and, and very, uh, very misunderstood and misused terminology. A feather is nothing more than a scale on the bird. Um, the, the stem, what we typically call the stem, is really the rachis, R-A-C-H-I-S, the rachis of the feather. The quill is the part that comes out of the, out of the skin of the bird. And then the catamus is right above that, and then the rachis. Now, coming off the, the rachis are barbs. These are barbs. These are called barbs. Good dry fly hackle has only barbs. And the barbicils are little hooks that come off the barbules. You cannot see these with the naked eye. All you can see are the barbs. Uh, if you look at a goose feather or a duck feather, wing feather in particular, uh, they marry together. And they marry together because of the barbs and the barbicils. But dry fly hackle does not have barbules and barbicils. And if you look at a, a typical, this is a, uh, this happens to be a Hebert minor bird, there's no webbiness and there's only barbs attached to the rachis of the feather. Now, one of the things that you have to consider or look at when you buy hackle is the grading system. Whiting uses a grading system of gold, silver, bronze, similar to the Olympics. And they do have ultra platinum and platinum, although they're not using that as much now because finding birds, Tom has raised the bar so high on the quality that finding birds like this is, is kind of rare. They come, they come available every now and then, but they're not readily available. What's most readily available are bronze and silver. And for most fly tires, that's more than adequate. The, what distinguishes a bronze from a silver from a gold is not the quality of the hackle, but it's the number of feathers that are on the saddle or on the neck. This is the neck of the bird right here, this part. This portion that hangs down on both sides, this is the saddle. This is a, an example of a package saddle the way you would see it hanging on the rack in the, in the store. This happens to be a midge, which means it's size 18, 20, and 22, or maybe smaller hackles. This particular, this particular, this is a bronze. This is a dark barred ginger. And for most tires, this does a wonderful job. This is all you need, unless you're tying hundreds and hundreds of flies. Whiting Farms has made this chart available to anyone interested in, in obtaining them, either through your local fly shop, directly from Whiting Farms, or go online www.whitingfarms.com. This particular part of the, the chart shows the brand, whether it's a Whiting or Hebert. It tells you the hook sizes that are predominant for that particular grade. 
And down below, they talk about the number of flies that can be tied with a real whole saddle. For a gold, for instance, 1,300 flies on a gold, 900 on a silver, 500 on a bronze. Half saddles, quarter saddles, and 100 packs. And down below, they have the saddle products, and it tells you what's the predominant size for that particular product line. For instance, if you tie mostly 14s and 16s, a saddle would be the, the right item to purchase, not a neck. If you tie a broader range of sizes, say you tie from size 8 to maybe 18,